For the first time in program history, the University of Portland baseball team will play a night game at Joe Etzel Field under the lights on Friday, February 26th when they host Oakland. The lights were installed in May as part of phase two of the Joe Etzel Field renovations and they follow the installation of a new synthetic field in 2014. Tickets for opening night are available and the weekend also includes Portland's annual and always popular Diamond Dinner. Visit PortlandPilots.com for more information. Back here on Portside, renovations to Joe Etzel Field began in the 2014 offseason and a lot has changed since then. From a new synthetic turf surface to lights, the baseball stadium has completely transformed into one of the top venues on the West Coast. Here's a look back at the first two phases of the project and also what's ahead in phase three. In 1966, myself along with some players built the field which is now known as Joe Etzel Field. It was a natural grass field and over the years it became known in the region as the best playing field in the Northwest. The process really started in off season of 13 when we set some attainable goals and decided that we'd renovate Joe Etzel Field on its current site. We were fortunate enough uh, to get the funds we needed uh, to replace the grass surface with AstroTurf. New scoreboard, new fences, a new berm seating down the right field line. That was a game changer for us. In the off season of 2015, we were able to raise money to install lights at Joe Etzel Field in, in just a, a matter of months. We can now practice in the evening and really give our student athletes a bigger window in, in which to schedule their classes in the, in the late morning and afternoon. My freshman year, it was obviously way different. The whole entire surface was grass and dirt. So seeing it come from that to what it is now and then being able to look at the stadium and know that it's going to be a whole new thing is awesome. What's next for the project is a new grandstand with new dugouts, new and improved seating, a new press box, concessions, merchandise, really bringing the facility up to where we need to be from a competitive standpoint in uh, 2016 and beyond. With the renovations that are coming with the, the new stadium, that's just going to tie the Child Center and Beauchamp and, and, and Pilot Stadium all together. And all these renovations make a difference. And so when we finally get that stadium piece done, we're really going to have one of the best facilities in the Northwest. The 2016 baseball season is upon us and new head coach Jeff Loomis has the team moving in the right direction. Loomis starred on the bluff from 1990 to 1992 and is a member of the UP Athletic Hall of Fame. The team returns 25 letter winners from a year ago and have added nine new faces to the program. Here's a bit of what to expect from the 2016 pilot. 2016 the dawn of a new era for Portland Pilots baseball. Spring is coming. As the seasons turn, give everything you have. Baseball, it's not just a game. It's a way of life. It's what defines us. It is an honor and a privilege to put on this jersey to step onto Joe Etzel Field, to represent the Pilots. Now is the time to start a new legacy on the bluff. Building a legacy takes strength. It takes commitment. It takes passion. Success doesn't only happen because of great plays or great players. It happens because of endless hard work when no one is watching. The future is now. What will you make of it? How will you leave your mark? 56 games. Play every one like it's your last. 35 players, teammates, brothers. How will you make the team better? What will you leave behind? Rain, shine, hot, cold. No excuses, no half measures. The 2016 season is here. Play like a champion. Every throw, every catch, every swing, every time you put on the purple, you write a new page in the history books.
Pilots Baseball. How will you be remembered? Up next on Portside with the Pilots, it's the Portside Five. Pump fake drives the lane and packs it with the right hand. Nate Austin slow to get out of Jarrell Marshall with a highlight dunk. 